Stevenson falls to Salisbury in the season opener today, 14-2. to Glenn Clark with Coach Kathy Raley. Coach, I'm going to ask you a question that I asked Carly Baffert during the game. How much of the story today is about what you guys did and didn't do? How much of it is that's a really, really good opponent that you were up against? I'm going to give that a 50-50. And, and the reason I'm going to give that a 50-50 is we are way better than what we showed today. So I'm not sure... You know, is it? I've got to go back and look. Is it the warm up? Why weren't we ready? The first couple minutes, we looked pretty intense. On the flip side of that, their backer messed with our heads. They were f- they were faster through the between the thirties. They were very organized in their high pressure backer, and even when we were passing to girls that were wide open, we were having turnovers. So it was just one of those snowball events, I think. And one mistake turned into two, turned into three. And then everybody started doubting what the game plan was and not moving off ball, like a little things like that. I don't want to take anything away from Salisbury. I thought they had a great game. Um, I think it was uh, a very interestingly called game in the way that the physicality was allowed sometimes and then not allowed mm-hmm. other times. So, so I think getting a flow was difficult for both teams in that respect. Um, you know, Salisbury looks great. You know, they, they are always going to reload and, and get out there and, ha- and show a great team. We absolutely know what we have to work on this week. And, Glenn, this group is so great at just regrouping and getting back out and working hard. So okay. there's no doubt that we will see a very different team in a week from now. So let's talk about the turnovers because clearly that was a story. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a few players that are sliding into more prominent roles right. for you right. offensively. How much of that maybe did you think was on display in the first half of just maybe players that hadn't been out there together quite sure. enough yet that that will grow and that will improve as they're out there more? You know, it's it's, it's got to. It's going to have to. And and we were able to get it there last year. I, I think this core group of sophomores, you know, some of them saw a ton of minutes. Some of them saw very few minutes. Again, you know, we practiced the preseason through with Keely Bunce, thinking that she would kind of run the show back there when she uh, was injured in our in our scrimmage day. Again, we have to kind of go back and take a look at who's going to control tempo. Who are we going to get the ball to when the pressure is high who's not going to succumb to that pressure or who's not going to drop the ball or who's not going to get back checked because they're not ready yeah, for it. Yeah. So so when you lose a player like Keely, um, that's, that, there's a void. And I think that we're getting better and better each each day that we're practicing, trying to determine who that person is who says, I want the ball in my stick, and we'll do whatever they have to to get it in their stick. And when you have a group of sophomores, it's, you know, we'll see. Absolutely. Might be somebody different every game, which I'd be fine with, but it's gonna we're going to have to really have that mental attitude. Let's talk a little bit about, I'm trying to find a positive. Um, sure. I thought, <laughs> I thought well, I thought that Mac made the saves that you would expect yes. her to make. I yes. thought, you know, like I, maybe one that she'll look back and yeah. say I could have had, yeah. but I think that if you expect her, and made a couple mm-hmm. of tough ones early on in she the game. She made some great ones, and she had some great cr- cause turnovers. So, uh, you know, good interceptions, good knockdowns, good... Uh, stepping up to the ball and not allowing a girl to shoot. Um, she knows we know what she has to work on, and she was. Uh, we had to pull her out just to get her timing a mm-hmm. little bit, which is great. It's great when you have a, a, a great backup keepers that you can put in there while she is trying to work something out. She went right back in, got her attitude great, went out there. And then made some really big time saves. Yeah. So it was really great to showcase her in the, that way today. Um, you know, defensively, I think that we we had possessions where we looked like I thought we would look, and then because we were playing defense for so long, I think we had possessions that looked like we didn't know what we were doing. Yeah. Um, you know, I just I, I I appeal to the officials committee and saying that uh, how long do we have to hold fantastic defense before we get a charge call? And and I just I just it, it, it boggles my mind how often we stopped them solid, and because we were a little stronger, a little more athletic, they start to lose their balance and fall into us, and we can't get a great defensive call out of that. So so. Uh, you know, I'll keep working. That's part of what my real goal is, um, being part of the Rules Committee, is to really get that message that we have to, we have to reward great defense. Well, there was one early in the game in particular that you got a, a couple of really puzzled reactions from up here about. There was, there was a couple other ones that were questionable, but there was one that we both sort of said, all right, yeah. but yeah, we're not going to get anybody in trouble. We're just no, going to move No, forward. No, because we all have to get better at what right, we're doing. Right. But it, we have somehow turned into this, uh, like, the offense can do no wrong. And defense, in, in just in the game of lacrosse, is getting better and better. More athletic players, 
physically stronger players. They're getting so good, and we are not rewarding them for great defense. And and that is just maddening to me. So I, I hope that we can make those changes and kind of flip the switch and, and, and think about things a little bit more equally between offense and defense. All right, Coach, I know it gets no easier. Uh, best of luck yes, next Saturday you. at Gettysburg. We'll thank see you. you back here in two weeks. All right. Thank you very much. She's Coach Kathy Rayleigh. I'm Glenn Clark. Go MustangSports.com.